Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. As you can probably tell, we're starting a new campaign playing as a certain select, somewhat familiar nation within the mod, but if you take a look at the background, as well as saw what version I'm playing this mod, or these mods on, 1.7, as well as the creation of the Minutemen, or Buck, Birch Island, or the Federation of New York? What? Well, let's just take a quick look. So, I'm playing as the Enclave again, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title. But I've decided to go back and install or revert back to patch 1.7. And I decided to do this with the East Coast mod. So, I knew I was going to play the Enclave again, but I figured I might as well do something a little bit different. At least in terms of the geography of the United States, as the Midwest is now just a tiny, tiny little line. But anyways, I'm going to play as the Enclave again. We're going to do historical AI... Hmm, let's turn it off. This Actually, no, let's turn it on. I don't know what's going to happen on the East Coast, so I, I really don't know. But I did notice that we have a Canadian Enclave branch up here as well. And uh, honestly, I've never played this with the East Coast mod. I observed it for a little bit just to make sure it wouldn't crash. But like I said before, we're going to play as the Enclave. We're going to reunite the West Coast as best as we can. Actually, we will reunite the entire country because this will be a continent conquest playthrough. But, like last time, the beginning of this will start with us deciding who we will be. And, basically, I'm going to do as many different things as possible while still trying to maintain, you know, some sort of good playthrough. So, that means, basically... I'm going to end up choosing to go ruthless as a dictator. Instead of being democratic, I will not allow free press. And if anyone says for me to have free press, well, then they will find themselves not alive. So basically, I'm just going to be an autocratic dictator because now we're pretty familiar with this map. Uh, this mod, the sub mod for the Enclave Reborn. And I'm still going to go down this path, but I will make sure I get vaccines fairly early. I will definitely do Enclave Reborn down here. And... Yeah, I'll probably, and I will go as firm as Granite as well. And when we get down to the Brotherhood of Steel and Operation Brutus, I will definitely go down from the bottom up, as well as War with the Brotherhood. So, since I'm going to go to War with the Brotherhood, I have a pretty good inclination that when I go to War with the NCR, I'm probably going to choose the Bishop Incident so that the Desert Rangers can help me take them out. But, like the beginning of last time as I played the Enclave, I need political power so I can get Boris T for the daily intellectual support, because if I don't, we're going to have some serious problems. So, do that, do that. Give me one thing of power armor is, if you can. Enclave auxiliaries, I'll do that as well. Just one one of each until we get more manpower. So, right now we're just saving up for more and more political power. Having a good time with each other. Taking a look at Major General Grimm. Alright. Very nice. In the Letter of the Beast, we're on the very borders of the NCR. Rogue Nation. Ooh. Occupying American soil. We cannot deny that they would destroy us if they became fully aware of us. I've read this before, but I'm going to read through it as fast as possible. Luckily for us, the bear is blind, weakened by bureaucracy, and fighting an, 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 an ineffectual leader. With the right efforts made, we can hide under the very nose of the NCR until we are strong enough to reveal our plans. But we cannot keep them in the shadows forever. It will become harder and harder to conceal ourselves as time goes on. Cool. We know that already. The Radiant Times. The Minutemen on guard of the Commonwealth. Uh, for It's almost been 100 years. But the Minutemen have been standing on the Commonwealth's guard from raiders, mutants, and any other evil infringing upon the Commonwealth settlers. Recently, Minutemen began to meet so rarely that people began to forget their even they, about their existence. But Minutemen, although not numerous, experiencing not the best of times, but still guard over freedom. Curious, to say the least. Oh, we have to do this as well. I mean, we might as well do that immediately. Right now. Uh, actually, we. I just need 150 political power. I mean, that's really just it. So, <clears throat> we're going to have to wait a little bit. I will take out New Reno. They won't be a problem. Last time, when I played the Enclave with you guys, I took out the Yakuza fairly early. I'm not going to do that this time, because I want to make sure that um, my political power is mostly saved for taking out the NCR, as well as causing uprisings and whatnot over there. Uh, I will want to go for Vault City as fast as possible, since we know that if you take Vault City, you can, in time get more, uh, another research slot, so. Disturbing photograph has been circulating among cafeteria staff, involving one of the staff members intentionally handling ingredients appropriately. So I lose, uh, I need more war support, so we're gonna do that immediately. We need some more supplies, because I don't have any factories, that's fine, as long as no one's suffering from attrition. We can't build anything, but we did get one more manpower. 
Very nice. Desert Rangers declared war on Jackals. Very cool. Desert Rangers was a fun campaign. It only lasted five days, so it wasn't super long, but that's all right. Campaigns don't always have to be very, very long. Um, 1.62 political power a day. Escambre declared war on the Bastille Farmers, which is down in Cuba. I was very surprised to see that, actually, we do have things down in... Some factions down here in Cuba, as well as Gu Guantanamo... Guantanamo, not even Guantanamo Bay. Just Guantanamo. Now, a lot of these guys have generic focus trees, but that's still okay with me. It's more to add to the mod. Escambre's over here as well. It's just fascinating seeing all of this stuff. Ooh, Ohm's Law, very nice. Oh, we need to do Land Doctrine. Refined Warfare. Yes. Please. But yeah, seeing all this stuff is really cool. Just, I've never played with this before. And unfortunately for me, as much as I would have liked it, where I live is just barely not on the map. Or, or occupied by a supposed country. I'm not telling you where I live, but I'm extremely close to actually living in a country or faction here. So obviously with that information, I don't live on either coasts. Or maybe I live up here, actually. But I don't live in Canada. I'm not Canadian. But this is really cool, seeing a Canadian Enclave branch. Really, really cool. Followers of Sinona. Minutemen declared war on the Jared Raiders down here. I saw this earlier when I was observing uh, my game just go on. It looks like the Minutemen are fairly strong. And they actually have their own focus tree, which is really, really cool. Cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Give me the Reformer. Now we can do our escape. Cool. And for the beginning parts of this, I'm just pretty much going to go ahead and do what I did last time. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survived on can be so felt that today we wussed out. I could get three more divisions, but I'm out of manpower already. Actually, minus a hundred... Three more divisions of Enclave veterans. Uh, I, still, I still want more manpower just because this is a very, very good amount to start with for us. Just because, you know... Trying to get more manpower is early on is actually pretty freaking terrible. As you might know yourself. So, manpower is just, in my opinion, too important. So, with Sergeant Dorn as well, respected by both reformer and purist factions within the Enclave, nonetheless, neither seem as a viable president, and have presented their own candidates. The purists have selected uh, Franklin Anderson as their own candidate. As the reformers are led by Douglas Granite, it appears the purist faction has the advantage, but with the support of the Sarge, could still, still, still tip the scales in favor of the reformers. I'm talking fast because I've already done this within like the past three weeks. So, uh, Dornan decides Dr. Anderson is a moron and we're going to go with Dornan chooses Granite. As firm as Granite because he likes dictators. Yeah, dictators. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, never mind. Don't worry about my language. Uh-oh. And I was also joined here by my cat named Binky, which I've not introduced to you yet, but it appears he would like to leave. And the Washington Brotherhood actually survived. That is not good for us. Quite unfortunate. So hold on, my cat wants to leave the room. Binky, bye-bye, Binky. And I actually already had my coffee today. Didn't have it. I had it earlier. Don't have any right now. I'll have some later, though. Sins of the Father. Granite's past is a controversial subject in our minds, made all the more contentious by rumors spread by the purists. This is... The cause is Granite's father and his relationship to the Chosen One. The Pierce accused Granite's father of treason for aiding the Chosen One, destroying the oil rig, but lack any evidence. Despite the fact that he will deny these allegations as nothing but political slander, Douglas remembers clearly what his father told him about that fateful day on the oil rig. Uh, let's see. I didn't aid the Chosen One. I want this. I want the mutant sympathies. Just because. But, um, speaking of the Chosen One, well, I'm probably going to go segregation this time just to try it out. So, Douglas Youth. Oh, but wait, I can use the Super Mutants later on. Uh, Douglas Youth. You know what, I'm going to go choose this one just because I know that there are some things... Ah, oh, screw it. Okay, Douglas is Youth. After traveling around with his son for a few brief years, Granite Sr. established contact with one of the Enclave's civilian vaults, set up as a contingency to repopulate the American mainland after the Enclave government cleansed it. Since President Dick Richardson had lifted Chad... Child rearing restrictions, the vault's population has exploded because people like to get the friction on. Nonetheless, it was a safer place for the child than the waste. Thus, Douglas spent most of, his, most of his youth in the vault. Like most children in Enclave's vault, Grant was weighed with a fervent hatred of communism. Sadly, 200 years of Enclave propaganda and living in a vault run under a command economy meant that he and most other members of the Enclave were left with a vague understanding of what communism was. As such, Granite... Uh, for, frankly, I'm going to go with anti-communist because... It just sounds like more fun if we can purge the communists, even if they're not communist. I want to feel... I want to be like a MacArthur... Or McCarthy. McCarthy. Yeah. We're going to end up like... McCarthy, like, after World War II, our timeline. So, and it gives us more war support. And I hate communism. And Douglas' first contact. Let's go choose another focus as we do this. Cool. 
Uh, when Douglas was 17 years old, the population of the Enclave Vault reached the outer limits of its life support systems. As a result, a large portion of the healthy and strong were ordered to leave the safety of the Vault to establish contact with a larger group of Enclave remnants led by an old Navarro drill sergeant. Douglas, however, was quick to contact with his father's granite company instead, slipping away from the rest unseen. His father welcomed him back and gave him a position within the company where he rose quickly through the ranks. When Douglas was a lieutenant of the granite defense company, he was contacted by a party under attack by raiders. The call sounded desperate and came from... Alright, so this is going to be important. An NCR battalion fighting raiders. I know if I go to the Brotherhood and I spare them, I get more research speed, which is okay. NCR battalion, I've not tried that. Kaiser's Legion. Um, Legion will be pretty difficult to do. I'll well, see what happens when we go with an NCR battalion fighting raiders. So when Douglas arrived, arrived with his team, the situation of the defenders had grown more dire. The bat battered defenses crumbled quickly under a determined but almost equally attrition raider party. Looking over the sad state of both parties, Douglas decided to... Ooh, ruthless. Charismatic. Yeah, I don't want to go charismatic just because I've decided to already go ruthless, so... Uh, I don't want a connection with the NCR, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, this is what I'm going to do to the future NCR people when I get to fight them off. And I'm going to go ahead and disable backstory decisions for now. Not too much of a controversy, hopefully. But let's keep blasting through this. So, reforms. And there we go. Legitimacy tutorial. Um, yeah, we already know about this. The Enclave will tell them what to think. We lose legitimacy or support political power. Uh, frankly, right now, hmm, low legitimacy comes with penalties, which means we get less manpower, non-core manpower, mobilization speed, political power gain. Uh, the negative effects of our low legitimacy are currently very weak. Uh, you know what? I could use more war support. I'm going to go with this. Since it's still zero, it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and go to war with the new Reno people. That'll be fun, because I want to expand as fast as possible. And solidify enough control. Ooh, stolen secrets last night. A small group of traders made up with a vertebrate and almost all of our old military codes. The raiders of the pit declared war on the free people of the pit. All right, sounds like a civil war. Their communication suggests that they were opportunists who saw a better future in selling the codes than wherever the enclave is headed. Regardless of their intentions, this betrayal is a severe blow. We got work working done. Many old military bases, including the heavily fortified lower levels of the Sierra Army D Depot, are now forever lost to us. We don't need them. Blame the purists. Uh, yeah, I want to do a crackdown. So we lose a little bit of manpower, lose a little bit of stability. All the Kirky goes down, we get more technocracy, and we get rid of one of our guys. Cool, this definitely helps. Um, multi population, because I need that manpower, especially early on. <clears throat> nice. They still outnumber us? No, they don't. We are now more popular than the purists. Glorious. Now, this war is going to suck a little bit. Actually, I don't mind pushing you this guy this way, guys, because I'm going to need to cut these guys off like I did last time. There we go, traders among our scientists. Uh, I'm just going to actually leave this. I'm going to let it run out by itself. Many of our best and brightest were once part of the secret projects performed at Navarro and the rig. For this, they were persecuted relentlessly after the fall of Navarro. None of them have forgotten this. Few have forgiven it. Since it, recent elections, progress on some projects has slowed down. Laboratory equipment has gone missing, and reports of the unpatriotic behavior I've seen have become more common. Interesting. So. Presidential victory speech, more stability and political power sounds good. Let's go immediately to war against New Reno. Um, well, that's a lot of manpower. They don't. They have about the same number of divisions as, as us, and they instead they went with the people. Interesting. Well, not too interesting though, because they're gonna die. Or at least I hope they will. Cool. Do that. I need you to cover them as well. Uh, do that. You guys make your way down here. You go for Nixon, and you just do whatever you need to do. Awesome. And we're at war. I'm just going to let this tire out since I don't want to lose stability, research speed, or daily or get daily elite gain because that sucks. Uh, usually there is a division up here. Very nice. Do that, do that, do that. The cause is done. Awesome. Do that. Split those guys off. Don't get encircled. That would be a terrible idea. Uh, stop them from moving for now. Good. Actually, if you can, just go, like, straight down for New Reno. If needed, I will actually send you up here to take out that extra motorized division. That would be great. Um, you come to New Reno outskirts and circle that one infantry division as well. And traders and officer corps, basically the same thing. The recent elections have stirred up latest latent tensions in our officer corps. Many of the most experienced and respected mili military leadership 
uh, are Navarro veterans, and there's not a man among them who has not lost a comrade there. It is unsurprising that many of them have been taken in by Anderson's message against, of a revenge against the NCR and mutant alike. With the government moving in another direction, tensions are high, and there are whispers of traitors. Well, degenerates like them belong on a cross. Oh, crap. Um, Come down here. You guys come around here. Come to Nixon and do that stuff. Let these guys finish off up there. Nice, good. Uh, you come this way. I need you to quickly move around here. I need you to, yeah, do that combat language. Nice, better reinforce rate. Get some decryption going. Come down here. Maybe cut these guys. Cut that division off. That'd be good. Just take out their enemy divisions. Ooh, we have a factory. Lovely. Get more power armor. That's like the most needed thing right now. But also make a couple guns. Presidential victory speech. Victory screech. Provoke the purest. Gain justification for a crackdown. Oh, we need to hide ourselves again. Let's do that. If I crack down again, uh, I don't think that's really worth it. Just because that costs 50 political power. And over time... Oh, we have no stability. Over time, their numbers are just going to continue going down. So... Reach out to centrist. Questions about the NCR. We have to compromise... And Binky wants to come back in my room. Sorry, Binky, you left me earlier. I'm going to do this. Because that just makes it easier. It's just easier to do that. Military staff. Loyal reformer. Eh. Uh, let's do this so I can get more stability. That would be great. Hold on, Binky. you got to wait, man. Alright, very nice. Make your way down here if you can. Uh, do something like that. You, If you can get to New Reno, uh, they might just be there. No one's in there. Very nice. Nicely done, my friends. And, okay, we took New Reno, but they're not going to capitulate yet. And the Capital Brotherhood declared war on Washington Super Mutants. Very cool. Alright, guys. Well, since you don't want to really do very much, take out that division, I guess. We're going to... Remnants wish to return. We've been contacted by a leader of the Sudsville Company of Enclave Remnants. They've survived the decades as raiders. Greatly feared to, due to their advanced technology and stuff like that. We definitely need this province. Uh, let's see. Having heard more rumors of the return of the Enclave, they're asked to be reinstated into our armed forces. While the extra manpower could be useful, their disdain for the mutants rival that of Anderson and his ilk. We must therefore consider the political consequences of accepting them into our ranks. I'll take them. Cool. Throw them on here. Um, yeah, I guess... We just need new Reno. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to do that, but whatever. It's fine. And move on up. Cool. Get rid of those guys if we can. And then immediately go this direction to infiltrate the NCR. They still outnumber us, which kind of sucks. That's alright. Capital Enclave. Declared Warren Riley's Rangers. Capital. Oh, is there another faction down here? Cap the Capital Brotherhood. Riley's Rangers. Oh, there's another Capital Enclave. NCR declared Warren Vail Bandits. <gasps> My brother, who hates us. Oh, no. Oh, they have political infighting, basically. Oh. Oh. Hello there. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I got so much to play. Ah, oh, this is so good. All right, this one just go right ahead, guys. Oh wait, never mind. How many divisions have I killed off? I think I killed off three, two to three. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. We definitely need more stability, though. There we go. Thank God. They're done. Um, I really don't... I want to expand, but I know we can't. So, which really sucks. For this, uh, definitely repair what we have. Which are at the bottom. Look at all that repairing we need to do. Uh, hide from the NCR activities. We're already done with that. We definitely need to do the crackdown. Tribal huts, very nice. Reference manuals, very nice. Construction speed, not quite yet. Um, do that, and then... Planes. Planes are important, especially fighter planes. Some are needed. We don't need a whole bunch, but some are needed. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. We have... Everything's on fire. We got a little bit of political infighting. We might end up in a civil war, but we do have 24% stability. So it could be worse. Could be much, much worse. As I'm waiting to crack down on my enemies. Oh, there we go. Insul infiltrate the NCR. Cool. Uh... Um, 
Stage Raider, Raider Attacks. Enclave Radio for more daily political power sounds actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. More raid. I don't. I, do I even make infantry equipment? I barely make any infantry equipment. Uh, I could do this stuff, but I'm going to do this thing first, Enclave Radio, just because it only takes 30 days. And we get more political power in the end, anyways. Uh, gotta love water, and the super mutants were annexed by the Capital Brotherhood. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Capital Enclave, how are you doing? Little lamplight? Oh, love it. You have way more... Actually, we have way more manpower than them. They have more divisions. Actually, no, we have, we have more divisions than them. And they're very elitist. While the Riley's Rangers... By, oh, in the Commonwealth, people disappear, and the number of disappearances began in the Commonwealth. People leave the house and simply do not return. Many are afraid to leave the house in order to not disappear without a trace, just like the others. It is not known exactly why or because of whom disappear, but the number of people... Uh, disappeared, have already reached 180 people. I wonder where they go. Hmm. Hmm. Otta City? I wonder what Otta City is. Ooh, Enclave Radio. Very nice. Sounds like fun. Oh, I love anti-communist propaganda. I really do want to do that. But I think it's important for us, personally, to go cold turkey. Otta City. Otta City is... Ah! Otta City. Weird flag. Benjamin Clark. Oligarchical power. Cool. Alright, we need to crack down on these guys. Because the Pierce will never outnumber us again. Oh, we lost our commander. That's alright. We got Chris Hamilton regular. We got a regular here. Ooh, who's an infantry expert? And Broken Coast declared we're going to confederation. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the campaign after this. I'm probably going to stay with Old World Blues again. I'm thinking about maybe playing Broken Coast. Maybe even the Washington Brotherhood. Something radically different. So... Music Vault found during the efforts to clean up some of the smaller criminal organizations and new Reno Enclave soldiers have stumbled upon a treasure trove of pre-war audio tapes. The vast majority of these tapes have survived, uh, that have survived and hold long old tunes of the old world collected by a wealthy crime lord over the course of decades. The propagandist value of such a collection should not be underestimated as very little music is available to those within the Enclave. Patriotic songs, which sound pretty good. We got a secret language going on. Release the tapes freely for a lot more political power. Binky. Um. Oh, we need to send out spies. That'd probably be good to do. Uh, stability. Do I want more stability? I think I want more stability. I want more p political power, though. But I want more war support. I'm going to go with uh, war political power. Because I need that, and we do help our stability just a little bit. As I will soon open up the door to my cat, we'll stop complaining. And yes, I remembered this time to get some more uh, power armor. I'm going to save my political power for now, just to see what happens with this. Arrange his appearance. Going cold turkey, the Mordinos long represented the status quo of New Reno. That is to say, criminal exploitation, chems, and misery. They had many allies, but no friends, and are now willing to lay down their lives in defense of the Camel Lords. We may strike quickly and expect only limited resistance, but have some suggestions that we, su we should use Mordinos to demonstrate we are serious about our old world values. Uh, let's see, tribunal to bring Mordinos to trial. Hardly a full-blown justice system, but it's a start from legitimacy and stability. Ooh, or we just hunt them down. Oh my goodness, I already got political power. I could use more stability, though. I really want more stability. I guess legitimacy wouldn't be terrible either, but I'm really doing this for the stability. And we'll go with old allies next as I open up this door to see if my cat wants to join us once again after he abandoned us. Mimi, are you okay? Alright, well, he wasn't very jazzed to come in here, so whatever. And right now, since we're becoming more intellectually based, we're, we are approaching 50% popularity. Binky, I, he, he's such a complainer. Either he wants to be in, and then he wants to come out, or he's outside, and then he just wants to come in. He's a very special child. But we need more than 50% support for the Reformer faction, encounter with the Crimson Caravan. One of our patrols stumbled upon an expedition of the Crimson Caravan, and this is why I wanted to send, my, send out my spies to do this. The squad leader, less trigger happy than some, has reported back requesting orders on how to proceed. The caravan is not even close enough to confirm that they are faced with Enclave Power Armor specifically, but rumors of suspicious patrols in Nevada desert could reach the NCR nonetheless. Leave them be or no witnesses. Um, it's only five political powers, so I don't mind doing that. But that's why I need to reroute Crimson Caravans as fast as possible. Old allies dealing with... Uh, before I read that, let's go ahead and do this and do with a shared dream. The Salvators have been useful to the Enclave in the past, dealing 
with us in order to expand their own influence in New Reno. Perhaps they can be useful once again. A puppet ruling New Reno in her name could help us make the situation in the city less suspicious to any outside observers. Mr. Salvatore's old smuggling connection may also prove a valuable resource to us should we decide to keep him alive. Um, increase suspicion of NCR by three, lose legitimacy. Salvatore, I don't really, we can't really see him here, which is un unfortunate. House arrest, we rule New Reno. Um, I really don't know what he does as that, but stability versus political power. Uh, I want the political power. We rule a new Reno right now. I want more political power because it's going to be a problem in the future. Let's see. I wonder how much this is going to cost. It's probably going to cost quite a bit. But since we have a little bit right now, we should be able to spend at least a, some some part of it on something else. I will go to partial mobilization eventually. Uh, we definitely want to get more army XP gain daily, though. That's, like, almost mandatory, but before I do that... Elite support... Oh, I could do respected sergeant. I definitely want this for better training times. And more war support, but... And I will go with EPA director eventually. Yeah, give me some more military theorists. That's just almost mandatory because our part of our focus tree is focused so hard on using our own... Um, political power on stuff. Just army XP, I mean. We use so much army XP to get some focuses done. And now I need more political power. Hold military theory committee. Yes, please. Thank you. Hmm. So what are you producing right now? Slowly producing some guns. Ooh, deal with the rights. Some say that the right family has spent the last few decades building up with one hand and destroying with the other. Uh, but compared to other families, this makes them almost redeemable. Mr. Wright's vision of a more peaceful and stable new Reno is not entirely incompatible with our own. If we take him, we get boosted infrastructure and civilian construction speeds, stability, and we get more political power or arms workshops. Uh, actually, Christopher Wright was pretty useful for infrastructure later on, and I'm going to get more stability now. Brother to Steel landing in New York! Exclamation mark! Exclamation point! Exclamation mark! This week in the suburbs of New York... Oh. A huge cargo ferry was shipwrecked, but this is not all the news for today. On the very ferry, troops of the Brotherhood of Steel were deployed in the vicinity of New York for what and what purpose we have not known. But perhaps we still know this, as eyewitnesses report that the Brotherhood of Steel lost a significant number of its people during a shipwreck, uh, but many still managed to survive. Curious, and Major General Grimm speaks out in favor of Anderson. During a heated argument in the officers' mess hall today, Major General Grimm has spoken loudly in favor of Franklin Anderson and his ideas about the Enclave's future. A few choice words were aimed at both the mutants of the NCR and our President Douglas Granite. While the officer in question may be a capable leader in the field, we should note that the opinions of the commanders we appoint to leave. What they say in the mess hall and over the radio will always affect their loyal soldiers. Um, I can kill them for less war support, but... Oh, how many days do I have left for this? I have 44 days for that. Nine days. Cool. Demote him? He will no longer be a purist. I lose support technocracy. I lose war support. Well, let's see. Major Grimm? He's level 5. That's pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. He has an accident. I lose war support. I lose war support for this one anyways, but I need another leader. Yeah, let's do that. We'll demote him. So, at least you're still alive. And you've been recently demoted. Oh! Does that carry over? Or does that... Hmm... <laughs> Oh, okay. Promotion cost plus a thousand percent. All sets minus one. Eh, that's alright. He can still be useful. Checkmate. Dealing with the bishops. And bishops have been the most family, powerful family in New Reno. A dangerous man for many reasons. Uh, one of which are his numerous political connections to the NCR. Mr. Bishop's gangsters were loyal enough to face down the entire other families, but the sight of his X01 power armor sent them scattered. He has retreated to his mansion, accompanied by his only closest and most loyal, surrounded by our forces and trapped. Apprehend the leader for more political power, which actually, let's do that. I'm going to need more political power political power soon. Actually, very, 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 very soon. But I need more stability, honestly. But civilian workshops... I have two. I need I need more than just two. So, let's do that. So now we have four. We double the amount of civilian workshops we can use. But I'm definitely going to need more political power. The Enclave lands in New York. War emergency news a week ago in New York. Oh. Enclave landed in the contaminated area, beginning to destroy all infected and place their outposts there. It is not yet known what threats to kill the people living in New York. Late will lead... People to a new military complex. Representatives of the Federation have not yet commented on this. And Bishop escapes to the NCR. It appears that Mr. Bishop has slipped through our fingers, boarding a secret vertebrate bird for the NCR. His location is currently unknown and unclear. We must consider the possibility that he may attempt to pull strings in New California Republic to turn the Bears' attention to use this as a means of getting revenge. Let's assassinate him. Guys, you take forever to do this. You take forever to get to the NCR. They're not that far away. Cool. 
The assassination of Mr. Bishop, once a target, top dog in New Reno, today died after his safe house was attacked by a team of Enclave operators. Opposing his old henchmen after they took over the city, Mr. Mr. Bishop spent his days attempting to bring the Enclave's return to light, always trading carefully, avoiding his own kit identity and location, becoming publicly aware. In the end, this only delayed the inevitable. Beautiful. And we need more political power for this, as well as the next one for that. So, and we're going to get a new capital. Yeah, who wants to live in the Sierra Army Depot? Not very cool. But you do got to watch out for our Army XP that's slowly going up. So what's going on over here? We have the Enclave still fighting Riley's Rangers. Taking forever. New capital. With the new the city of New Reno now fully under our control, we are now governing over a significant amount of Wastelanders. Since we cannot install Enclave members to every single position of influence in the city, some Wastelanders have begun exercising an amount of power within our borders. Um, democracy. Who cares about democracy? War support. We lose less war support. I don't mind losing a little bit of legitimacy now for more of this. I don't want to lose war support, so let's do that. And new Reno slaves. During the liberation of New Reno, we've come across a large population of slaves, triggering off a debate as to whether we should allow the practice of slavery in the United States. Although there are those who say slavery is un-American, others point out that the captive workforce could be a boon to our economy and has historical precedents. As a compromise, we could adopt Vault City's servitude system, providing food protection and medical exchange medical care in exchange for involuntary servitude. But others say that it seems like slavery with extra steps. Um, I really don't care about legitimacy, to be honest with you, too much. Recruitable population goes down by 20%. Add legitimacy. Um, I'm going to be kind of nice. I don't want to lose all that recruitable population. So I'm going to go with Vault City Servitude is reasonable. And the next step we're going to take before we end, prepare expansion. We're not going to do that yet. First brick. Enclave Police actually would be pretty good to do as well. But the next focus we will take is stage raider attacks because <coughs> excuse me we, we can use this to our um, benefit a little bit actually it cracked the code um, actually a little more political power sounds pretty good so anyways that will conclude today's episode so we have taken out new reno we have expanded ourselves a little bit we have eight divisions we are slowly trying to make more goods for us to use um, but yeah, other than that, it was pretty fun, especially to see all of what's going on over here. It's very interesting to see this. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. That's a lot of manpower, uh, but we're demobilizing as we push forward and hide from the NCR. Thanks for watching.